What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the Battlefield 2042 trailer that just came out a little while ago. I won't have the trailer here in the video. I will have some screenshots in the background, but I don't have the trailer just for copyright reasons. If you have not seen the trailer, it will be linked in the description below. Uh, Battlefield 2042 will be out October the 15th. Now it does feel like a big hyped up exciting trailer and for good reason. I kind of can understand why it almost feels like a Call of Duty trailer. A lot of people may think that if you're if you're a fan of COD or if you watch COD trailers, they're always really big, really hyped up. And of course, EA did hire the COD general manager uh, just a few days back. So now he is the, pretty much leading the franchise in, uh, of Battlefield anyway. So that is one reason I think it's feeling a little bit more hyped up. Also, uh, Vince, that's the guy that ran uh, or the work for COD, you know, one of the big creators of COD for Modern Warfare 2. Of course, then he left, has his own studio now. They made Titanfall. That's going to be DICE LA. They're a big part of Battlefield uh, 2042 as well. So it does have that COD feel when you see the trailer. I'm hoping it's not too Call of Duty-ish for a lot of the, uh, just true hardcore Battlefield fans out there, but it is a pretty hyped up trailer. Now in the trailer, you will see some weather events. That's kind of the big thing they're selling this time, kind of like the Levolution, which I thought in the past was a selling point when Levolution came out. I think the weather events are going to be a selling point again. Only weather event we got to see in the trailer was a tornado, which was ripping up tanks, throwing helicopters through the air, throwing players that were jumping out of the helicopter through the air. I'm not quite sure how these are going to work. Maybe they won't be bad as some of the dust storms we've had in the past in Battlefield, because a lot of the community really didn't like those. But the whole idea of putting the storms in there is kind of like Levolution. It's almost cheesy to a point to me, and I really don't think it's needed, but it is what it is. We did get to see the robot dogs in there. We know the game's going to be set a little bit in the future, so I'm sure the drones and things that I talked about in past videos will show up later on. Also, they did confirm new gen PC will be 128 players, old gen will be 64 players. They said there will be bigger maps and more vehicles. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case for old gen. If it is, it may be like old Battlefield used to be. Before console had 64 players, back when it was just 24 players and the maps felt kind of empty. I'm hoping that's not the case for old gen players. I know a lot of people cannot get their hands on a new gen console just yet. Uh, the game is going to be multiplayer only, no story. So they're focusing mainly on multiplayer. There's still a lot of rumor there will be a battle royale later on, probably uh, into next year. So probably 2022 for that's going to come out. But I dare, I, I would about guarantee that they're working on that, considering they have some of the guys that are leading the COD franchise and have led the COD franchise. The recent general manager led the COD franchise through the addition of Warzone. So I'm sure something like that's definitely coming to Battlefield. Last but not least, there will be a play test in early July that's going to be invite only. There will be a closed and open beta according to EA, but no release dates on that just yet. I'm assuming probably August, September, considering the game is going to come out on October the 15th. Anyway, guys, watch the trailer. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, was it a little too cheesy? Was it a little too hopped up for you? Or are you excited about Battlefield 2042? I am happy to see another modern Battlefield game. I know a lot of people have been unhappy with COD this year. A lot of people have been unhappy with Battlefield for the last several years. So it might be fun to get back in and play a modern shooter. Uh, so we'll kind of have to wait and see how it works when the beta comes out. We can get our hands on it. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.